name is Charlie here with my 2014 favorites. Um, this is my first favorites video for a year time frame. I did do my hearts and horns a little bit ago and then I kind of got away from that. But I have a lot of products that I really enjoyed in 2014 and discovered in 2014. So I'd like to show, uh, share them with you and there's quite a few as you can see. And we will start with the smaller products and work our way up to the bigger. This here is from Fortune Cookie Soap. This is one of their cuticle butters. Comes in their Fortune Cookie Soap box. You get it four times a year in spring, summer, fall, and winter. You get different products in there, usually skincare items. Um, and also their Fortune Cookie Shape Soap. And this is one of the items I really like which is their cuticle butters and they're very hydrating. They have a lot of different oils in them, palm oil, mineral oil, avocado oil, all these beautiful oils in them. Um, they melt right into your skin. You don't need but a tiny bit. They smell amazing. This one is from the Christmas collection and it is. it smells like eggnog. And you also get a $10 coupon every time your box comes in to so if you wanted to buy an extra one, which I'm gonna buy an extra one of these, you get $10 off your order. So this is from Fortune Cookie Soap and this is their cuticle butter, my favorite. From Tarte, we have the Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. Got this on eBay. I did recently show this in an eBay haul. It's very fine powder, let me show you. This is a very fine powder and it disappears into your skin. Great for any skin tone. And it just helps to set your makeup. I use it to set my concealer, but you can also use it for, um, for setting your, you know, face powder. And this is the Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. Another finishing powder is the Revlon Photo Ready Powder. I used the translucent, I used that up, and then I got this, and the translucent one is the white one, and it's got a little bit of an illuminescence in these, just to give you a, like a, a little bit of a glow. You can kind of see the illuminescence there a little bit, but it's not overpowering. The translucent one, it lasted me for a year because you don't need much at all. You just need to take your brush and just, this is how I do it, I just press it in, on both sides and then that covers half of my face and then do it again and it covers the other half it's very very finely milled you don't need much at all it's $12.99 but it is worth it I don't usually spend a whole lot on makeup but I thought this would be nice after I tried the translucent one I decided to try the ones with color love it to death and this is the Revlon photo ready powder The Urban Decay All Nighter, which we most of us know about this. This stuff is the bomb.com. It keeps your makeup intact all day, sets it beautifully. This is just a mini bottle I got in a trio. Ulta was having a sale on the um, this trio, which was the All Nighter, the Rockstar 24-7 pencil, and the primer potion, which I also have here. The primer potion, it's usually $19, it was on sale for $12, plus if you have your Ulta, if you're signed up for the Ulta card, you get your $3.50 off, so that was a good deal. And I've used this up, so I've been um, filling it up with other uh, setting, setting sprays, but I like the bottle because it's the mist it sprays is very fine. It doesn't spit out, you know, it doesn't spit like some uh, spray bottles do. It's a very fine mist, so I just keep filling this up. Plus it's mini, I can just throw it in my purse and I'm done. So that's the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then since we're talking about it, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, we all know about this stuff. This stuff is amazing. This is the original. I also have one that came with my smoke palette, so I have two of these, so I won't be running out anytime soon. It lasts you for a long time, and it keeps your eyeshadow in place all day. So 
those two Urban Decay products. The setting spray that I'm using right now is the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray, and that's what is currently in my little Urban Decay bottle. Um, I really like this. It works just as good as the all-nighter, and it's half the price. It's $16.99 at Walgreens, and I think it's $14.99 at Ulta. And you do get less in this one. You get 3.4 ounces, when I believe the Urban Decay one is 4, 4 ounces, so you do get a little less. But the price is definitely worth it. $30 for a big bottle of Urban Decay or... $14.99, $16.99 for this one, and they work just, it works just as good. So that's the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. Love that. Some primers that I fell in love with. First, the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless. Love this stuff. I think this is my third mini size I've gone through. I get it on eBay. Cheap. The big size is $30, so this comes in very handy. The small ones, eBay, can be your very best friend when you want to try out things because more than likely you can find it in a sample size and pay less. And then if you don't like it, you don't have to worry about that you didn't spend that much money instead of spending $30 on something and go, oh, God, now i got to go return it because I don't like it. But the Tarte, this primer, if you have large pores, this is great. It helps... Um, Reduce those pores, your makeup goes on nice and smooth, and it is a silicone base, so you only need a little. The Napoleon Parties Autopilot Primer. This one is more like a lotion, so it's hydrating. This time of year, in the fall and winter, when we lose that moisture out of the air, this is the primer that you want to use to keep that moisture sealed in. The silicone ones are more for warmer, you know, spring and summer. Then you have your fall and winter primers, too. Love that one. And then the uh, Maybelline Age Rewind Primer. This one is also amazing. It's $9 and change. I got this at CVS, um, and I got $5 back, I think. If you spent $15, I had a coupon for $5 back. And I ran out of my Tarte and was waiting for my other one to come from eBay, and I needed a primer. So I got this one, and I really, really like it. Really like it. And that is the Maybelline Age Re Instant Age Rewind Primer. And those are my primers that I fell in love with last year. My concealer. For the longest, I used the Avon concealer, but then I heard so much about the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, I decided to try it and love it to death. This one is in Cafe number 30. It's a doe foot applicator. I just got it. I got this one from Walmart. They were $5.94 when they're usually at... Walgreens, they're usually seven something, so save you a couple dollars and get it at Walmart. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This jumbo eye pencil from Milk, from Milk, called Milk from NYX. Hear this a lot on YouTube when you have a um, eyeshadow that just you know doesn't it looks good in the pan but when you put it on it's just not there try using milk behind it especially like neon colors brighter colors it helps bring them out it also helps them to set and stay I love this pencil I got this at Ulta it was 449 sorry it's dirty I did use it yesterday you can sharpen it you can put it on like this and then put it put your um, eyeshadow on or of course you can you can blend it out too I love this pencil and that's the NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk glad I discovered that some mascaras that I discovered and loved this one is the Revlon bold lacquer discovered this in a beauty box it is awesome it defines it lengthens it doesn't clump my lashes love the brush you can get these at any drugstore and that's the bold 
lacquer mascara from Revlon the Tarte gifted love Tarte mascaras love this mascara love the natural bristles they separate and define love it this one is just now at that stage you know when you first get it it's a little wet and then it starts to dry out and it just works perfectly this one is getting to that point almost done with it and then I got the Tarte oops, the lights camera lashes works just as good I haven't had it that long so it's still a little wet but it's working its way to that dryness where you know it just is perfect and this is a this is a sample size of these and they're I love this packaging it looks like wood it's so cute but those are the mascaras that I discovered and loved last year the cover girl Clean Makeup and Sensitive Skin in Tawny, number 265. This is my perfect color. I have been looking so long for perfect match to my skin tone, and this one is it. I have a lot of red in my skin, so I don't want to use a foundation with more red. This is a cooler toned, which helps to tone that red down, and it just blends beautifully, and it makes my skin look natural. It is a medium to full coverage. You can build it, build it up to a fuller coverage. I just put on a little just to blur out the lines. It makes me look like I'm not wearing makeup at all. I've, I've had compliments on that, but I love this. And this is the um, CoverGirl Clean Makeup in Sensitive. And that's in Tawny. And I did pick up a backup of that from Myers recently because they, were, they had them on clearance. So I won't be running out of that anytime soon. This deep conditioning treatment from Hask, their argan oil from Morocco. I got this in a beauty box. I used it. I love it. It's a deep conditioner. It makes your hair really soft. It smells good. In this packet, I got I can get three uses out of it. And found out that it is sold at Walgreens for two two forty nine. And it was recently on sale for $1.99. So I used the packet that I got from Beauty Box. And then this is my second one. Love this so much. I will get another one. And again, I can get three treatments out of this. So I have one more treatment in here. And then I will be getting another one. And this is from Hask. Some eyeshadows. These are Jordana baked eyeshadows. I discovered these when I went to Kmart one day and noticed a Jordana um, display and didn't know that they sold, you know, mess, um, eyeshadows because I'm so used to seeing them at Walgreens with it's just like the eyeshadow sticks, the lip gloss, the eye, the eye, um, what do you call it? The eyeliner. Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeliner is the bomb. But then I didn't know they sold eyeshadows too. So I picked these two up. This purple is called Purple Perfection. And you can use these wet or dry. And then the gold is called Bronze Gala. They are so, so pretty. Look at that purple. And that's dry. So, so pretty. And wet. I'm going to put a little bit of water in there and let you see them wet. And there they are, wet and dry. They just get more intense so nice and I love them and they were buy one get one 50% off I think they were two dollars and fifty cents each not bad at all buy one get one fifty percent you can't go wrong with that so those were the Jordana baked eyeshadows I got these again at Kmart I think they're 250 not for sure um, so those I loved those Sorry, my camera was about to die, so I had to let it charge. But we'll go ahead and continue with my December favorites. 
um, not December, for 2014, I discovered the EOS lip balms. Um, I thought they were kind of high priced for almost $4 for a lip balm. Um, I got mine at Myers and we were on sale and decided to try it and fell in love with them. This is the mint one. Love it. And it's like gone. I'm down to digging it out now. I'm going to have to buy another one. But that's the EOS lip balm in mint. I discovered a baby wipes. Um, even though I have children, but I know what baby wipes are, but I discovered them for um, taking off makeup. I use Pond's wipes, but I was watching someone who was saying, you know, why not just use baby wipes? They're a dollar, and I go to the dollar store every week. So I bought some baby wipes, and I love them. Before I apply my makeup, I always go over my face with a baby wipe just to get off any oil buildup or anything like that and it leaves my face nice and refreshed, doesn't dry it out or anything. Plus, use them when I'm doing swatches and things like that of um, eye makeup and stuff. I keep one, I have one right here. I keep one here to wipe my hands off on, and it's cheaper and inexpensive than using my Pond's wipes, which can get a little bit expensive. But baby wipes for a dollar, wonderful there. Discover this oil-free acne wash at the Dollar Tree. It has salad, 2% uh, salicylic acid. It is a dupe for the Neutrogena. I have used the Neutrogena. I have used the Walmart Equate brand. I've used the CVS and the Walgreens. They're all about the same. So when I saw this at the Dollar Store, I said, well, it's a dollar. Let me try it. It works just the same, has the same ingredients. It smells, this one smells citrusy. All of the other ones tend to dry my skin after I wash, so I have to put a moisturizer on. This one does the same thing. It doesn't break me out. It works exactly the same as the others, and it's a dollar. So, Dollar Tree, try out the oil-free acne wash. Save you some money. I discovered these masks when I went to Ulta in June. They were having buy one, get one free on the masks. And these are from Freeman. And I did get four. I got two of these, one for my coworker. She wanted to try them. And then I got the wheat one that's brightening. I don't like that one that much, but these two I really, really like. I started to mask every other day, but now I mask every day and I alternate these two and I have seen such a difference in my skin since I started using these masks. I used to get really bad breakouts around my chin and I mean those really big zits where makeup is not going to cover them up and they would be there for a week or more until they went down hated that so much ever since I have been using these every other day I do not have that I get like tiny zit uh, breakouts or tiny zits and then they go away within like two days which is great because you can kind of hide those with concealer a little bit but those really big ones you can't and it just makes you feel like everybody's looking at your chin because you got all this stuff going on it's black but these I love this one is the Dead Sea Minerals and it is to clear pores and smooth skin and it does exactly that. My face feels so soft afterwards cleaning those pores out. Great. And it does make it nice and smooth. And then the Mint and Lemon this clears breakouts and minimizes pores. It does exactly that. If I'm getting a breakout I use this in at least two days that breakout has either diminished or gone away. Love it so much. And these will last you for a long time. You don't need that much of them. And there's still quite a lot in here and I've had these since June. I'm gonna have these for a long time. And right now in July, January, I think they're buy one, get one 50% off. Um, just check your local Ulta. But these also can be found at Walgreens. So check your local Walgreens. And those are the masks from Freeman absolutely love those this acne spot corrector from dr. Lynn I got this in a beauty box 
and this is supposed to treat acne breakouts and fade dark um, fade dark and red marks this thing is I don't know what this is it's magic in this tube I had some really bad acne scars on one side of my face really dark my makeup would you know kind of blur them out but they were still kind of dark I started using this and they have almost faded away almost faded away they are very light now so when I put my makeup on you don't even see them at all I love this stuff and I'm trying I'm using it right now underneath my eyes to help diminish some of um, the, the darkness under my eyes and it is slowly lightening it up this stuff is magic in a bottle magic in a tube excuse me and you know we only need a tiny bit and you will see results in about I say a week if you use it you'll see those the darkness start to fade a little bit and fade and mine my acne scars have just faded and faded and like I said when I put my makeup on you can't even see them it's it's good it comes in this little tubey tube and you just squeeze out just a little bit that's all you need and that's from Dr. Lynn the acne spot corrector amazing stuff Now for the bigger things, Tree Hut. I discovered Tree Hut in June at Ulta when they were having, uh, well no, I discovered Tree Hut in a beauty box. They sent me one of their Shea body butters in coconut lime and I fell in love with it. And then Ulta had a sale in June of last year, buy one get one 50% off. So I got the body butters and I just featured the coconut lime one in a haul in a uh, empties um, so I got that one with the matching body wash and then I got the Brazil nut and the almond honey and then the matching body washes these smell so good this smells really it smells like the holidays I mean not the, like Christmas fall it smells like it smells nutty it smells so good it smells like you just want to eat it it's got a little bit of a, it smells like a, there's a little bit of honey in it but it smells so nice and then this almond and honey is we all know what almonds smell like this smells so amazing and the body washes are the same and I will be getting some more of these because in January at Ulta it's buy one no buy two get two free so I will be stocking up on my body butters because I'm almost done with those and the shower gels you don't need that much see I have the there's the almond and honey one and the Priscilla nut one you need maybe a quarter size into your little you know the little nylon poofy things that you know we use in the bath just a quarter size not even a quarter size because look how much is still in here and all of these they're almost full and I've had these since June because you only need a tiny tiny bit it lathers up into a thick rich lather that lasts through your whole shower or bath and it feels so rich it's like you're you're drenching yourself in a rich lotion instead of um, a body wash it's so so nice beautiful and these I think are 747 I think both of these are 747 each at Ulta and for January it's buy two get two free and I think that's only good until the 24th so I'm going to be getting there this weekend so I can get mine. So those are some of my favorites right there. These body washes from Tree Hut. Okay, and lastly, we have the Urban Decay Smoked Palette. I got this in the fall. It went on sale for $29. It's usually $49. And it comes in a box that looks just like this. And it's a nice case. It's a nice... A soft case with no fingerprints very pretty it's very sturdy it's got a nice size mirror and it comes with mattes and um, 
shimmers and a full size perversion 24 hour pencil which I love because this is $18 by itself and with it being $29 plus I had some points to redeem so I ended up getting $6 off that too that made it a good deal and I have been using this all the time I love it to death this kink this color kinky is a nice warm vanilla color that you can use to transit on your brow bone I'm sorry and it's good it doesn't it's not too bright it just highlights it very subtly freestyle you can use all over your lid to help as a base mushroom one of my favorite colors in here it's a beautiful taupe gorgeous taupe back door which is a, a matte brown but it's um, like a taupey brown pretty back uh, blackout we all know that is nice matte black um, bar lust is like a burgundy brownish shade really pretty very nice rock star we all know this beautiful purple beautiful purple and evidence oops why it's off my fingers it doesn't want to come off that's a good sign evidence is this beautiful blue loaded is a emerald jewel toned green and then asphalt is a steel gray gunmetal color and I use this as a one color smoky eye just put it all over the lid and then blend it up and then down underneath and it's a beautiful smoky color I use that all the time for a very simple eye look and this is one of my favorites from 2014 um, the Urban Decay smoked palette I will be getting some more palettes hopefully here at tax time but these are some of these are my 2014 favorites that I discovered and love and still use and will continue using until something else comes out that I fall in love with of course but I do thank you all for watching um, check out my blog for more information regarding these products um, any questions please let me know subscribe if you haven't for my regular subscribers hi how are you thank you so much for your support I really appreciate it and you all take care and have a wonderful day and thanks again for watching bye bye